The universe is filled with many mysterious and dangerous objects, most of which are stars or remnants of stars. Stars are a fundamental unit of the cosmos, playing a crucial role in the formation of celestial bodies like galaxies and black holes. But have you ever heard of a star that has a vacuum inside it? A star that contains nothing but empty space? This concept may sound strange and bizarre, but scientists hypothesize that such stars could exist in our universe. These enigmatic objects are called gravistars. They are considered one of the most mysterious types of stars. In fact, compared to all the stars, both discovered and theoretical, gravistars are millions of times more terrifying. If someone were to venture inside one, the outcome could be unimaginable. Unlike black holes, gravistars pose unique challenges and mysteries that continue to perplex scientists. So, what exactly are gravistars, and why are NASA and other space agencies so intrigued and concerned about them? In today's video, we will provide you with complete information about these enigmatic stars. This video is going to be far more interesting and unique than our regular content, so make sure to watch it till the end. Without further delay, let's dive into the fascinating world of gravistars. To understand gravistars, it's essential to first comprehend the stellar cycle. Knowing how stars are born and how they end will make it easier to grasp the concept of gravistars. A typical star begins its life within structures known as nebulae, which are vast clouds of dust and gas. When the matter in these clouds starts to coalesce under gravity, the process of star formation begins. Initially, these stars are simply spheres of dust and gas. Over time, they become increasingly dense and massive, leading to nuclear fusion reactions in their cores. This marks the official birth of a star. About 4.6 billion years ago, a similar process gave birth to our sun. According to scientists, the sun formed from a solar nebula, a cloud of gas and dust, triggered by a nearby supernova explosion. The sun, now at the midpoint of its life, has existed for billions of years. Scientists estimate it will remain stable for another 5 billion years before reaching the end of its life cycle. When a star reaches the end of its life, it transforms into another type of object. This transformation depends on the star's mass. The greater the mass, the more mysterious and dangerous its afterlife. Stars with a mass similar to the sun typically end up as white dwarfs. As hydrogen in the sun's core depletes, its size will increase, turning it into a red giant. Eventually, the outer layers of this red giant will disperse to form a planetary nebula, while the remaining core will become a white dwarf. Stars with a mass 1.4 to 2.5 times greater than the Sun often end up as neutron stars. These are among the most mysterious and dangerous stars in the universe. Their density is so extreme that a spoonful of their matter could weigh as much as Mount Everest. Some neutron stars rotate at incredible speeds, up to 600 rotations per second, a feat unimaginable for other types of stars. If the mass of a star is 2.5 to 3 times greater than the Sun, it transforms into a black hole. Black holes are considered the strangest objects in the universe. Within a black hole, the laws of physics as we know them break down. At its center, known as the singularity, space and time lose all meaning. What happens to matter that falls into a black hole remains one of the greatest mysteries of science. While black holes are well known, there is a theoretical alternative to them in astrophysics, the gravistar. According to current hypotheses, gravistars form under conditions similar to black holes, but differ significantly in their nature and structure. Gravistars were first introduced in 2001 by two physicists, Powell O. Mazur and Emil Motola. These scientists were working on Einstein's equations and sought an alternative to singularity. In physics, singularity refers to a point where all the laws of physics break down. Scientists strive to avoid singularities in their equations to reach a solid, final result. This pursuit led to the concept of gravistars. The full name of a gravistar is gravitational vacuum star, which is quite descriptive in itself. When nuclear fusion in a star ceases, gravitational forces pull all the outer material toward the core. 
As mentioned earlier, the fate of this core depends on the mass of the star. According to scientists, stars with a very high mass sometimes form gravistars instead of turning into black holes. What makes gravistars particularly intriguing is that they are composed primarily of vacuum. However, this is not the classical vacuum we commonly learn about in science classes. A space devoid of matter and energy often used for experiments to isolate external influences. Instead, gravistars are made of quantum vacuum. The quantum vacuum is unique because it contains a significant amount of energy, known as vacuum energy. While this energy cannot be measured directly, its effects are observable. For instance, the universe's continuous expansion is driven by vacuum energy. What may surprise you is that vacuum energy is widely recognized by its other name, dark energy. Shockingly, about 68% of the universe consists of this mysterious dark energy. While its properties are difficult to study or observe directly, its impact on the cosmos is undeniable. Scientists hypothesize that this dark energy is present inside gravistars, acting to counterbalance the star's gravitational force. While gravity pulls the outer layers inward, dark energy expands the space within the star, effectively canceling out gravity. This delicate balance allows gravistars to remain stable. The outer layer of a gravistar is made of normal matter, which constitutes only 5% of the universe. Remarkably, this outer layer is so thin that even an atom would seem massive in comparison. Despite its thinness, this layer is robust enough to prevent the gravistar from exploding, maintaining its internal system just like a regular star. Unlike black holes, gravistars do not have a singularity at their center. However, when observed from the outside, they appear very similar to black holes. Both gravistars and black holes distort space-time in comparable ways, making it extremely difficult to distinguish between the two. Gravistars lack a defined boundary, such as the event horizon that surrounds black holes. Yet, when viewed from a distance, the outer shell of a gravistar can resemble an event horizon. In black holes, the event horizon marks the point of no return, a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. If you attempt to enter the boundary of a gravistar, either you will fail or the gravistar itself will be destroyed. The outer shell of a gravistar is incredibly dense, and the likelihood of penetrating it is almost zero. Even if the shell is somehow breached, there is no guarantee of entering the star's interior. This is because the interplay between dark energy and gravitational force creates a boundary where the two forces cancel each other out. If that boundary is disrupted, dark energy would overpower, causing the star to explode outward. The striking similarities between gravistars and black holes make it extremely challenging to distinguish between the two. However, scientists believe that detecting gravistars is not impossible. If gravistars do exist in the universe, understanding how to identify them could open new doors in astrophysics. Gravistars can potentially be detected through collisions. When massive objects in space, such as black holes and neutron stars collide, they release gravitational waves. The intensity of these gravitational waves is directly proportional to the intensity of the collision. This means that the more powerful the collision, the clearer and more intense the resulting gravitational waves will be. According to scientists, if in the future a gravistar were to collide with another gravistar or a black hole, the gravitational waves produced from the collision could be easily detected. These waves are also released during merger events, when two massive objects combine. By analyzing these gravitational waves, we can potentially confirm the existence of gravistars, study them further, and gain deeper insights into black holes as well. Observatories like Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO are equipped to detect and record these waves. LIGO is so sensitive that it can detect waves smaller than the size of a proton. However, all of this will only be possible if gravistars actually exist in the universe. Currently, gravistars remain an intriguing hypothesis, but the likelihood of their existence is considered low. For now, they can only be studied through mathematical equations. 
However, it is worth noting that black holes were once considered purely theoretical objects as well. Scientists of that time doubted that such dangerous and mysterious objects could exist in reality. Yet today, not only have we discovered black holes, but we have also captured multiple images of them. It is entirely possible that in the future, we might capture an image of a gravistar using our advanced telescopes. So, friends, what do you think? Could these hypothetical stars actually exist in the real universe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you next week with another fascinating video. Until then, goodbye and take care.